premature Palestinian babies being cared for at the al Makassid Hospital in East Jerusalem. For over 40 years, this hospital has been one of the premier medical centers for Palestinians with its state-of-the-art facilities and dedicated staff providing some of the best care available to patients from the West Bank and Gaza Strip. It's also a center for training doctors and nurses and offers some treatment competitive with Israeli hospitals such as pediatric cardiac surgery. But all that is under threat of being shut down. Only the blame is not being leveled at the Israelis, the traditional scapegoats. This time, the hospital has taken the rare step of blaming the Palestinian Authority for the crisis. Because of the economical situation and the crisis around, around us, I mean, this has affected us, actually. It's not, I mean, uh, now easy, I mean, to cover our expenses so easily. That's why we fall into a financial crisis, actually. The payment of their due, their dues, I mean, it's our money, actually. Al Mukassid Hospital is one of the jewels in the crown of Palestinian health care, but they haven't been able to pay salaries for three, four months now, and the Palestinian Authority is to blame. The hospital put out the following statement. The Palestinian Authority has failed to pay for the cases referred, and as a result, the hospital ran into huge debts. We had to borrow tens of millions of dollars from local banks and pay interest, and since we can't pay them back, banks are refusing to give us loans anymore. al Mukassid is located on the Mount of Olives overlooking the old city of Jerusalem. It serves Arabs from the city, but the bulk of its patients are Palestinians living in the West Bank and Gaza Strip, many of them impoverished and without health insurance. Right now we are suffering because of the, the economic situation in Palestine in general is very hard. Uh, the people are going through harsh time, difficulties, uh, economic diff uh, crisis, so that uh, reflect on us negatively. Rafai says that donations from Palestinians abroad are difficult to get due to restrictions in place after the Al-Qaeda attacks of September 11th. But he vowed that the hospital wouldn't shut its doors no matter what. Dr. Husni Samara is a gynecologist and endoscopic surgeon. Even though he has a family to support and hasn't gotten paid for months, he says he wouldn't consider lucrative offers from abroad. I still have the offers, I still can go, but uh, if I leave here, I'm now uh, probably the only person who can do, for example, endoscopic surgery in the Palestinian territory. If I leave, then there is no option for these patients. I know, yeah, I can gain more money or I can earn, not necessarily going to Norway, maybe go to the Gulf states, I will, they will pay me more. But I will dump these patients, which I, I feel, um, I had a feeling of guilt if I do that. So I, I can't leave them. Palestinians are loyal to this hospital, they are committed to this hospital. The, if the salary was late two, two months or three months, they, will, uh, they are patient with us, they can hold it. And it's not, I hope, not forever, but they know this is temporarily a problem. The problem will be solved, hopefully. Uh, I'm very optimistic. The Palestinian Authority has begun to trickle some funds to Makassid, but it still hasn't relayed the millions that it owes, and it's not sure if it ever will. From Jerusalem, this is Arieh O'Sullivan reporting for the Media Line.